guys, it's me, Sally. I am here to just show you a very quick tutorial. I am redoing my vintage window. Um, I do a new message on it every month and it's Easter. So I am going to do a He is Risen wreath. And I thought, why not share it with you guys? So I am going to be using, I will show you all of my stuff here. I'm going to be using the Iron Orchid Designs Brayer. And my tools are in um, not brand new condition, so keep that in mind. This is a quick video, not polished. I'm going to be using the Typesetting Alpha Stamp and the Classic Wreath, Classic Builder Wreath set, okay? Alrighty. Oh, also our erasable liquid chalk um, as well. So, okay, here we go. So I just get a, just a acrylic sheet and I pour a little bit of the chalk on it. like so all right and I use um, so I will put the wreath down mm, right about there I eyeball this so if you want to like measure it out you can totally do that but with erasable liquid chalk one of the things I love about it is that it actually is erasable, so no big deal if you make a mistake. So I just like to eyeball it and not overthink it too much. And I think I'm gonna go right about there with my wreath, um, and I'm gonna center my words. And I think I'm gonna do my words first. The reason for that is what I've learned from doing this before is that um, doing the words first and then doing the wreath around it, it just is kind of easier than after you do your wreath, when you go in to do the words, sometimes you hit the wreath by accident and the liquid chalk is still a little bit wet. So I am going to actually do my words first. I forgot about that when I started to do the wreath. Okay, so he... H E... Is now I will be sharing some letters and I'm going to just kind of show you how I do that. Um, so Risen is also going to use the I, the S, and the E. But it's also going to use the N. So the key is in the spacing, right? So I am going to space my letters, okay? Using the letters, first. Now the S is the middle letter, so I want that to hit right between where the H and the E were, right? So you just kind of move your letters around that's gonna hit right there. So now I know I need to move these over. Okay, now I move this back down. And there we go. I like to make sure my letters are, are just kind of nice and straight like that. Okay, there we go. That is where I want that. And the is will go right there. I'm gonna pick that up using my thin mount. The thin mount, all of these products you can get from one of our IOD stockists. The thin mounts run about $4 and they're wonderful. The way they flex works really well on uneven and textured surfaces as well. And a lot of times it will pick up all of your letters, like in this case. Now, I'm working on glass and the glass is really gonna pick up um, 
that clear stamp, right? So it's gonna create kind of a section. So I have noticed that I have to um, just kind of help it along when I pick up the stamp. Normally, if you're working on fabric or something else, that is not the case, all right? So then I flip it around, that wasn't too bad. Sometimes it sections a little bit worse. And then I take my brayer and the erasable liquid chalk. I love our erasable liquid chalk. We have not given it enough um, promoting just for whatever reason, we've got you know our transfers and our stamps and everything has gotten a lot of promotion, but the erasable liquid chalk is actually one of my very favorite, um, oops, hold on one second here. One of my very favorite products. There we go. And it's so much fun. I really enjoy just writing my own message on this window. I have it hanging front and center in my living room. And if it's somebody's birthday or um, I just have an inspirational quote that is meaningful and uplifting to me during that time, I just love to be able to say whatever I want to say and change it um, per season or just with my mood. Okay, here we go. And I'm just gonna, again, I'm gonna eyeball it. But using the thin mounts is kind of nice because you can um, see that straight edge. Now, working on a slick surface, I'm learned I need to be careful. Once I lay it down, it's going to want to slide. So I'm very gentle in how I apply the pressure. I'm not going to push too hard. And I just kind of make sure all surfaces are hitting, which is not hard with a very flat and hard surface. Okay. Now, when you pick it up, the nature of the liquid chalk is going to be that, um, you'll see what I'm talking about after I do it. So let me just do it, pick it up, straight up. And you'll see that uh, some areas are more opaque than others. As it dries, that will be less noticeable. However, if you want it super even and that's important to you, then you can actually take a paintbrush um, and just kind of dip it in the chalk and go in and touch it up. Totally not necessary, but you can if you want to. So I just wanted to show you that. Okay, and now I'm gonna put the other letters in there. I'm gonna take these ones off. I like to wash the letters in between because once it's gone down once, it'll be a lighter color if you try to do it again. So a lot of people don't realize that. They see that there's still chalk on there and they wanna go right back down. And that is, um, it's just gonna look not as opaque as the first round. So I wash it off and I just use wipes. In fact, whenever I'm stamping, oops, no big deal. Whenever I'm stamping, I keep wet wipes around um, and if I'm doing a lot of stamping I'll have warm soapy water and that is nice I just kind of when I'm done using a stamp I drop it right into the warm soapy water okay there we go and that's gonna go right there all right, and perfect. He is, and here's my eye. I'm just gonna wash that off. Perfect. Okay, now I'm noticing I'm off. What did I do there? This is centered, but my H is not. But you know what? Uh, this is why it's no big deal. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So I'm just gonna wipe it off. 
it's so great and just very low commitment. Let me get a clean one. Okay, so we're gonna do that part over. All right. And I like to dry it off before I go back down. Okay, let's do this again. So the resin I think is nice and centered. And we're gonna go and we'll do the is. He is risen. That's better. Maybe even a little bit over. I'm kind of, I don't know, stickler about it. There we go. That looks good. Now I'm gonna pick it up. Okay. Now keep in mind, this is still wet, so you gotta be careful. In fact, I was not very careful there, but thankfully it did not cause me issues. I'm gonna lift it above that. There we go. Okay, and I go with my erasable liquid chalk. Another awesome thing about this erasable liquid chalk is that it's reconstitutable. I don't know if that's a word, but you can reconstitute it and it, um, it uh, will come alive again. So you can let it dry on your acrylic block and then come back later and just spritz it with some water and it's ready to go again. Okay. There we go. My daughter is going to be coming home any minute, so I apologize in advance for the interruption. And just making sure all that hits. And straight up, and there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, if I had hot soapy water, I would have tossed this in that for later, but I don't, so I'm just gonna set these aside and we will wash them later. And then I am going to do the wreath. This is from our classical wreath set. Let me show you. This is the whole set. And you can see there, you get a lot of different wreaths, a lot of different sizes, a lot of different styles with this set. I love it, it's one of my favorites. Okay, great. All right, so I wanna just go around and I think I'm going to go about like that. Okay. And I wanna avoid hitting this, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna grab a smaller sheet. You can cut these though, and so I buy a few of them and I cut them smaller in case I need them to be smaller. Hi. Oh, there she is. Hi, honey. I'm doing a video. Do you want to watch? Yeah. Come on up. Okay, and then you just do this. Drop it down. Oh, okay, that one was kind of smudgy. I'm gonna do that again. Um, it's pretty. You like it? I think it's pretty too, but I think I can do better. Okay, this time I'm not going to, I'm gonna be a little more careful and I'm just gonna go light, a little bit lighter on the hand. Drop it. And up. There we go. That's better. Okay. And again. I didn't use lights. A flat surface would be better, but I'm I have stuff everywhere on this table, so I'm rather than stop and move everything, I'm just gonna keep going. Well, mommy, can I do those petals? Yeah, you can do some in a in a little bit. Okay. And I'm seeing that in order to center this, I'm gonna to have to pull out a little bit on this 
And you know what, that's okay because I can fill it in. I can fill it in with um, filler in between this spot. What's filler? It's other parts of the stamp. And we are almost done. Ooh, ooh. All right, I am a little bit willy-nilly with this, but you know what, that's okay. I think I could have done a better job, but I think it's still really pretty. And I think it's good that you guys see how easy this is and how it does not have to be perfect. It's pretty. Thank you, sweetheart. I like it too. So. Could I do it? Yeah, I like that. I'm going to leave it. Yay. I want to do some. You can do some. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Here. <laughs> Bye, everybody.